All right, we're gonna talk about these injectors today. This is the Greer KTM, which is essentially just a Bosch injector. If you really wanted to, you could probably just look at the part number and just buy it offline instead of directly from them. This essentially would be the KTM version. It's also a Bosch injector. Uh, I think these are EV14 style injectors is what they are. Uh, they're very similar, very minor differences in uh, overall uh, physical appearances. I think the only difference that it really is, you know, these spikes up here, which I imagine are simply designed for butting against the fuel rail. And then if you look at the tips, the, uh, the tips are slightly different. As you can see, the one on the left, the spacing is a little bit wider. It's more of a rectangle as opposed to just a square like this one. So installation is fairly easy. Uh, if you look over here, obviously you want to remove all your plastics like you're supposed to. I usually just not undo any of this stuff. Leave my uh, tank off to the side, but for this purpose, so I'm changing the injector. I actually just pinched off the hose and then uh, set that off to the side. Now I'm gonna actually be draining this because I have to, but I just want to point out down here, that's actually where the injector goes. So the clip here, that's the clip, very easy to get to. And then it just seats inside of that hole. And then there's a mounting bolt for a bracket. You can kind of see it down there, right there. It actually has a T25 bolt on it. It's kind of hard to get to. So what I ended up doing was this piece here, this bracket, I should say, you can see it right here, gets in the way. Uh, but there is a way to get to it. What you do is you come down here, there's a bolt that goes in here. This is a 10 mil. It has a nut, but it's not captive. So when you undo it, you gotta make sure that you hold on to it because you don't want it to drop down. Chances are if you did though, it'd probably go under the starter. Uh, so just make sure you get that. That'll allow you to move it out of the way. And then you can essentially just run your uh, T25 with a uh, about a foot of extension and you'll drop right on top of it. Minimal pressure required, undo it and you can pull it out. Um, so it's just as easy as that. Again, I pinched this off and then it has one hose clamp. You just pinch it, move it out of the way and you're pretty much done. So the real question is, is why would, is, would anyone want to do this? Um, I've already maxed out the injector duty cycle on the OEM injector. Uh, the lowest I can get is about 13.8 fuel ratio and that's at wide open throttle. Um, so, I have not had any issues with that. It's been running that way for years. Um, I mean, I've got close to 24,000 miles on it now. Um, so with that being said, 13.8 is very reliable considering what it has on there. What I don't like doing or what I don't want to do is I don't want to run it at full injector duty cycle, which I presume that's what the case is at wide open throttle. Uh, just because it's, you know, one shortens the life and two doesn't take much. And then, um, let's say it leans out because the injector just can't keep up anymore. Um, uh, things do get old. I'd rather have a little bit of, uh, overhead using a setup that's going to allow me to maintain more fuel. So that's kind of what the idea is with this one. Um, as you can see. I have a collection of OEM injectors. I actually have a third one here. Um, this is just an example piece. I've already pulled out the, the O-ring that's in here. And this is essentially what you end up with. And to swap it over, you get this bracket that's right here. This is where that bolt connects to right here. And then you'll pry here that'll allow you to kind of push that bracket back and then again 
here and let me get in this corner. Now what should happen is this slides forward and then that comes out. Then that will allow you to pull that out and then reinstall it on this other piece. So I am just going to loop up these o-rings a little, make my life a little bit easier. And I don't want to ruin the o-rings. Okay, installation is fairly simple. I'm just going to slide that in like that. This is going to slot in like so. Okay, just lift up on this corner. Come on now. Ah, come on. There we go. It is definitely a tight squeeze. It's not slotted like it, the other injector is. There it goes. Oh, hold on. Come on now. Pop this off. There we go. All right, that took entirely way too much effort. Okay. So, that's done. And then reinstallation will be the reverse of what we just did. Bolt it up, fuel, make sure it's nice and lubed up before you put it in, plug it all back in together, and then that should be it, call it a day.